Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about the St. Kitts and Nevis passport renewal, a little bit more about the process and the documentation requirements. So you can renew your passport at an embassy or deal directly with a firm based in St. Kitts and Nevis. So we've helped quite a few people with the St. Kitts and Nevis passport renewal. Oftentimes it's easier to deal with a firm directly on island because all the passports typically are processed locally and therefore it is sometimes easier to deal with somebody that's locally based. So in terms of passport renewal, once the file is submitted to us, we submit it to the passport office and it takes anywhere from about two to four weeks to obtain the passports and then we can either mail them to you wherever you are in the world or alternatively, provided you have another passport and are able to travel to St. Kitts and Nevis, you can come and physically pick up your passport in person. So in order to renew your passport, it has to have six months of validity left and it cannot be renewed beforehand. It can either be renewed if you have lost or stolen your passport, in which case you will need to make a police report and it's a lot more complicated to renew your passport. Or alternatively, you have all the passport pages have been stamped and or filled out and there's no more, no more room in your passport. Oftentimes we get asked whether or not you will receive your old passport back. We always request that the old passport be returned to us. Oftentimes we have some clients that have either visas and or other important documentation or just want their old passport, in which case we request for that back. So in terms of the documentation requirements, there's a lot less documents required to renew a St. Kitts and Nevis passport, unlike the actual citizenship by investment process. The passport renewal is similar to the United States and Canada. So one of the documents required is a passport application form. It's about three to four pages in length. Um, the most important aspects are gonna be having your signature in section 1A on one line within the box. Depending if you're signing on behalf of a child or if you're signing on behalf of yourself, there's another section that needs to be signed. It will help, we can help you fill out the form and or, and or fill out the form for you. And then the form will need to be notarized by a notary that's known you for at least two years. So there's passport size pictures. They need to be 35 by 45 millimeter, no hair on the forehead, no hair covering the ears, no smiling, no glasses. It's really important to get the passport picture correct in order for it to be a smooth process and not delay the process. Oftentimes, we sometimes see people that don't do the passport picture correctly and it can delay the process. You need to provide your birth certificate in your original citizenship application that's been returned to you. You will have potentially received several documents along with the certificate of registration. One of them would be the stamped birth certificate by the Citizenship by Investment Unit. Provided you've kept that, you can reuse that same birth certificate. You will need to provide your certificate of registration as a citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis, and it has to be the original copy, so it cannot be just a notarized copy. It'll need to be the original certificate of registration. Um, in instances for people that are 16 years of age or older, uh, we do a police report for you locally to ensure that you don't have a criminal a criminal record locally. Sometimes, in some cases, you may be asked to do a police report from the country you're living in. In some instances, like you'll need to provide another ID in addition to your St. Kitts and Nevis passport, provided you um, have another ID. You'll also need to do a power of attorney, giving us uh, the power of attorney to be able to deal with the passport app office, uh, collect and receive payments, and deal with everything for your passport renewal on your behalf. And if you're a parent signing for your children, sometimes it'll be requested that you provide notarized copy of your passports. So to verify the signature on the form is in fact the signature of the parent. So depending on your case, it can vary what documents are required. Typically children, the passport's renewable every five years and adults, the passport's renewable every 10 years. And this is a service that we've been offering and we have more and more people that are contacting us that would like assistance with their St. Kitts and Nevis passport renewal. We're a firm that's based locally and we're happy to potentially assist you. So if you'd like more information, you can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or send me an email at info at jhmarlin.com or jennifer at jhmarlin.com. All the best, bye for now.